in the last tutorial we have uh, partitioned our second hard drive into three different partitions but we haven't formatted them yet so right now we're going to format our partitions using ext4 file system and then we're going to mount them mount the partitions so let's get started first let's see let's look and see what we have so far so we're going to check our device sdb hard drive let's see what it looks like right now we're going to enter p to print the partition data to the screen so we have 500 gigabytes uh, total size of this device right here and we have three partitions sdb1 sdb2 sdb3 right so we're going to format the first partition using ext4 file system so we're going to type this command now when you type mkfs dot ext4 it will format your partition so make sure you type the device and partition name that you really want to format because this command will erase all the data on your partition now luckily it will it will not allow you to format the partition that's already mounted like for example SDA but if you have any partition that's unmounted but has data on it this command will erase it so be careful type exactly the partition that you want to format so we're going to press enter okay So this is a large partition, 400 gigs, so it may take a while, but overall it, it's going pretty quickly. And so we'll just wait a few seconds and, uh, and then our second and third partitions are smaller, so it will not take as long. okay so the first partition is done formatting so we're going to repeat this for second one which is much smaller so it will not take as long and then a third one which is really small Okay, second is done. Now last one, SDB3.
done. Now we're going to have to mount those uh, new partitions. So first we have to create mount points, which are just regular directories. I'm going to call the first one data. Data2. And uh, temporary directory TMP2, which is going to be our smallest partition mounted as TMP2. Okay. And now we can uh, mount like so. Now let's see. As you can see, dev sdb1 formatted with ext4 this is the size and it's mounted as data this is all good except that when a system reboots sdb1 will not be automatically mounted as data which is not a good thing actually because if we use data directory for our database, then the database will not be able to see our data directory and will not be able to write to it. What we need is to add our mount information to systems FS tab file and save it. And we will do it in our next tutorial.